Hi everyone, welcome back. Randy, N2CUA here. I was playing around with the frequency measuring again and learned something new. Uh, before, <coughs> when we were using the marker, uh, we could adjust the marker and then it would change the frequency here as to where the marker was sitting. So we try to find it, you know, the peak of the waveform and do all that and come up with the frequency here. And then I had noticed there was a function called, um, I think, other frequency. Yes, yeah, right here. It's um, peak center frequency. So it takes the peak and locates it and moves it to the center frequency. Which is at this point now it's saying it's 9.999987. So it's 13 hertz low. I've just powered the oscillator up. It's not been on only about 20 minutes, maybe. And it is an open controlled oscillator, so. <coughs> but what I found was interesting is, you know, th this has increments to it, it has steps. So, you know, it's just not as accurate that way from what I was seeing. But then I noticed if you go to under the marker menu, there's a button called marker function. If you hit that, oh, don't want to hit it. <laughs> if you press that, um, down here, there's one that's called frequency counter. And I thought, well, okay, let's give it a try. And um, actually, let me turn it off first. So with it off, <coughs> get the marker frequency down here, 9.999. If you look up here, it says marker 1, 9.9999. Um, but they match. If I adjust this one, that one changes with it. So when you turn the frequency counter on, uh, this next one here says resolution, 1 hertz, auto, and manual. Um, it's set to one hertz right now because the span is really narrow, most likely is why. And so it should be able to measure down to one hertz. Now what's interesting is I can play with the marker and try to get it adjusted to where I might think might be center. But if I adjust it so that it matches the frequency counter, um, well I say that, now it's changed. Anyway, point being, what you read here, 9.999987, is different than up here where it says counter. It's measuring 9.999992. So it is different. It is actually trying to measure the frequency here versus just telling what the marker is. And I've noticed that when you're moving the marker around, it's not, it, it could be you know, an optical illusion, but what I perceive to be center isn't necessarily center. And so, you know, it gives you a rough idea what the frequency is when you're using the marker unless you um, tell it to detect peaks and things like that and I think it's probably a little more accurate but the nice thing I like here is with the frequency counter turned on and that being displayed up here is that it's counting the actual frequency itself, measuring the actual frequency itself and um, it just seems like that's just intuitively more accurate than um, trying to figure it out with the marker etc so, and it's reading right now, it's reading uh, 9 hertz low, 9.999991. It's been slowly drifting up. It started at like 9.999780, I think it was. So it's been slowly drifting uh, upwards as it heats up. The oscillator I'm using, it. that oscillator draws like one amp of current when you first turn it on. It gets quite toasty and then it drops down to half an amp to keep it uh, at that temperature. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, is that uh, there is a frequency counter built into the, uh, the Rigel DSA815, and it certainly seems to be a more accurate method by which to uh, measure a frequency that you're looking at versus um, trying to use the marker, move it around, and, and set it and get it to uh, come out correct that way. So, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Short video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and um, hope this come up with some other uh, nice ideas for the uh, analyzers and um, upload and hopefully you're enjoying them all. Seven threes.